But I'd love to answer any questions you have about any aspect of, uh, of this show or our experiences. Yes, sir. Can you tell us how you approach DHS and what their review process was before deciding to work with you? Yeah. I think the reason that ABC brought me into this project to, to develop it for them and then ultimately produce it is that uh, I've done a lot of documentaries uh, with law enforcement and I've done a lot with the military and so they felt that I would have more credibility, say, than the producer of The Bachelor, uh, who also has done stuff for ABC. Um, so my approach was to, to, uh, to go to them and say, We're, this is pure documentary, that we want to tell the behind the scenes story, uh, that you will be able to review the, uh, the episodes before they go on the air to make sure, not creatively, not to tell us that you don't like that shot or that you, know, you think that story should be moved later in the episode, but to review it in terms of not revealing national security secrets or uh, procedures that they don't want the public to know about. That had to be agreed upon. And we were very good about that. I think there were only maybe two or three times that they asked us to take something out or blur something that... Uh, be, because we were saying a little too much. But uh, we had to agree to do that. Usually networks don't do that. They don't want anybody you're profiling to have any say. But as I point out to ABC, you're not going to get this on the air unless you let them have a say. You're dealing, you're dealing with national security here. Um, yes? I wanted to tell him, I'm with Justin Water Protection, Bill Anthony works in my... Oh, please tell him hello. I will. Yes, with with Nick Stein, who worked who worked on with me. But yeah. Well, thank you. It's hard to to get the it is not hard. It is it's something that we for for CBP from our perspective as an agency working within the department. How can we show the reality of of I mean show the other side of the story because it's always very um, one sided sometimes. Because yeah. Well, thank you. We tried to be objective. I mean, we we didn't have a we didn't have a, an agenda. It's all we were doing is showing what is, and um, uh, we we didn't we didn't have any secret agenda at all. Is, did you have a question back there? No. Yes. What's been the uh, what, what was the reaction of viewers to this? Um, you mean those who watched? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was very positive overall. At the before the series went on the air, there were, uh, as you know, Los Angeles has the largest Hispanic population north of the border, and um, there were a couple of demonstrations uh, in front of ABC of uh, Hispanic groups before it went on the air, fearing that we were, you know, going to do some hatchet job or something. Uh, or had a political agenda, which we didn't, and that went away once we were on the air. But unfortunately, so few people saw it, uh, comparatively. That, By the way, f so few people being five to six million people a week, but um, when American Idol has 30 million people a week, you can see why we're just getting killed. Yes? Uh, did you, I, I, I happen to remember seeing, I saw that one, did you, the, the one on the helicopter. Uh -huh. But did you, did you show any... Uh, on internal enforcement, any kind of efforts on internal enforcement. I'm not sure what you mean by internal uh, enforcement. Going to existing businesses and checking. Or yeah, like yeah. In uh, New Orleans, uh, we followed uh, we followed officers raiding. Uh, it was before a game, before a big sports game, and they had all this uh, counterfeit merchandise that that uh, people were selling, and uh, we showed the confiscation of all of that. Uh, and a, yeah, removal and detention. We did uh, two or three stories of that. That was with ICE, and basically, ICE uh, agents are undercover. They don't want to be filmed. Uh, we had to. It took a while before we could find a unit that would let us film them, and we did that in Boston, and we showed uh, detention and removal. Yes, sir. Again. And when you're filming people getting arrested, you had to get their permission to, and you actually how oh, did you do that? Um, well, a number of ways. 
Um, you wait for the right time to go in with, because they have to sign something. I mean, we're not news. News doesn't have to do that, but we're a production company, uh, and it's part of the entertainment division, not part of the news division. I remember one of your episodes showed a woman who would come in with exotic dancing supplies. Ah, yes, the Swiss Miss. <laughs> I was in... Yes. <laughs> yes, she wanted anything. Um, <laughs> she had just arrived at LAX and, uh, and caught our eye. It was very, very attractive. <laughs> and we came into the story about five minutes after it had begun. This uh, officer was questioning her because uh, she... I don't know, so, something, was, something wasn't quite, something, as we said, was a miss with a Swiss miss. <laughs> and, uh, and then he proceeded to search her, her uh, luggage and found all this uh, body uh, exotic dancing uh, apparel. But she said she was just coming as a tourist, and yet that's all she had with her was uh, <laughs> belly dancing attire. <laughs> so she said, she finally confessed that she was here to work if she could. And um, they sent her back the next day. She was on a Swiss airplane back to, back to Zurich. Um, yeah, she signed readily because she, oh, chance to be on American television. And I was sure we would get letters saying, we'll offer her a job. <laughs> but we didn't. Did she um, get much reader? I mean, did she get much viewer feedback at all? In other words, letters, emails, any of that? Or did ABC get any? Um, we got we got a few complimentary uh, letters and, and emails. Most people don't write unless unless it's either it really angers them or unless it's just maybe a show like Lost, which has you know some very loyal viewers like me. Um, people usually don't don't write. Um, yes. I'm curious what actually inspired you to do the program. Well, I was, it wasn't my idea. Um, this is based on an on a Australian format uh, called Border Security. They have, a, they have a show over there called Border Security. Their border is obviously only water and air, not land. Um, and it's, it's the number one show in Australia. It's been on for four years. So ABC got the, the rights uh, to, to follow their format. Although it kind of surprised me because it wasn't a unique format. I've been doing that format for years on other shows. And, uh, and then they hired me uh, thinking that I would be the, the best producer to make it happen. So it was just one of those fortuitous... I, I thought maybe you had to sell it to ABC. Yeah, no, no, no. They, they brought me in. It was already pre-sold.